It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, June 2nd. I'm James Spann. That blanket of wet air stays in place across the state through Monday, but evidence of a pattern change for the latter half of next week that should pull down some drier continental air by then. There's the water vapor satellite view this morning, troughing over the northeast United States and a maritime tropical air mass from Texas all the way through the Gulf Coast states with those high dew points that will be sitting over us through the weekend. That was the radar early this morning at 5.04. Actually had some heavy rain up around Tupelo, Mississippi during the pre-dawn hours. They're under a flash flood warning of all things. But for Alabama, just some patchy light rain and drizzle. Heavier showers and storms come later today during the peak of the daytime heating process. It's a muggy morning. Birmingham at 71. Tuscaloosa 72. Upper 60s for Anniston and Gadsden. Highs, I'd say low 80s in most spots today. There's the watch warning map. Things pretty quiet. Again, uh, flash flood warnings around Tupelo, Mississippi. Some fog issues in Arkansas. Severe storms possible way up north today. A marginal risk there. We have green here, but no organized severe weather expected. Same thing tomorrow. Same thing Sunday. A couple of marginal risks well to the north. Rain for the next seven days, valid through Friday morning of next week. Some really big numbers down in South Florida. This is suggesting maybe seven inches for places like Key West, Miami, and West Palm Beach. And keep in mind, they've got a pretty big drought there. That's a, not necessarily a bad thing. In Alabama, the amounts vary from uh, one inch near the Tennessee border down to about three inches at Mobile. And again, if you've you know, got a beach trip, don't panic here. No doubt there'll be occasional showers and storms there through early next week, but you should, uh, should see some sun along the way. Tropical weather, second day of the hurricane season. The uh, Most of the Atlantic Basin quiet. The Gulf a little disturbed, but organized tropical activity not expected for the next five days. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 06C run. One o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. Pretty much the same deal, troughing over the northeast, little trough over west Texas, and down below that, a very moist air mass. Showers and storms crank up again later today into uh, early tonight. I'd say the chance of any one spot getting wet, probably about 50-50 today with a high in the low 80s. Check out the high precipitable water values, almost two inches. So heavier showers could produce some really heavy amounts of rain in a short amount of time. That's the uh, high-res her. At 4 o'clock, and again, we stress the radar is not going to look exactly like that, but no doubt a number of showers and storms will be around. Tomorrow, same thing, mostly cloudy. number of showers and storms about, but it's not going to rain all day. The sun could peak out at times, highs low to mid-80s. And the same thing on Sunday. And trying to give you specific start-stop times for any one given location, you just can't do that in this pattern. Because the storms are kind of scattered and random. Just be ready for one at almost any time. And the high Sunday, again, I'd say low 80s. Monday of next week, no real change. A number of showers and storms about. But Tuesday, drier air begins to creep in. Now, we'll still mention a chance of showers on Tuesday. But by Wednesday, there's that drier continental air we've talked about. And if that's the case, Wednesday should be shower-free with lower humidity, the high around 80 Thursday, we start the day in the 50s. Very refreshing for June. The high would be in the low 80s. The sky will be sunny. And this is a week from today, Friday, June 9th, troughing over the east. And again, a dry air mass. So after uh, this uh, showery weather through about Tuesday of next week, the latter part of next week looks rain-free at this point, which is fairly odd for June. You typically don't have that many totally dry days. Here's the end of the forecast period. This is Sunday, June 11th, troughing in the west. The heights are coming up. And if that's the case, uh, that's a little more like summer. Temperatures may be back in the upper 80s with uh, a few showers about, maybe the better coverage down to the south. Numbers, look at next week, I see upper 50s Wednesday and Thursday morning. But mostly lows in the 60s and uh, evidence of upper 80s toward the middle of the month, but still no 90s on the board. And we'll sure take that all day. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. I'll be traveling today to Rock the South in Coleman. So just one video per day. We will post notes in the blog. And if you can, join us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.